Yeah. Um, look, here's the thing. I, I don't need to make any more serial killer movies. I really don't. I mean, and I know that. Um, and I, what I liked about this was Michael Linton and Amy Pascal came to me and said, we think that there's the possibility of adult franchise. We believe that you can make a movie for adults that will that will be successful, that will be a, a be a commercial endeavor, and we think that this material hasn't been drilled as deep as it can be. And I said, "Great." I read the thing and I came back to him and I said, "Now you know that telling me to go deep with material like this is like a red flag in front of a bull. Are you prepared? Because I've been through this before on Fight Club where everybody said, we want you to go, we want you to do what you do. And for a year and a half on the cocktail circuit in Pacific Palisades, people were like, oh my God, it's so nasty. What they're doing over there is so bad. And then of course they see it and when it's all cut together a year later and they go, how could you? How could you? Um, so, my intention is to do, is to, to, you know, I don't know about the, I can't address the originality issue. I mean, when you're talking about making a movie from a book, even if it's already been made into a movie in another language, um, I think that there, you know, I see myself first and foremost as an interpreter of the text to the, not the image, because that's too easy, to the, you know, directors don't make pictures. Directors make things that you are supposed to get an emotional hit off of. You're supposed to feel something. It's behavior, it's color, it's the quality of the light, it's the, it's the setting, it's the speed at which it moves, it's all of these things go to make a visceral response. It's not just about, so I look at it and I go, I don't know, that, I mean, I think you could give five different people the same script and end up with five different movies. You know, not, and, and our script is way different from the Swedish movie. So, you know, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, in a case like this where there's so much uh, advanced knowledge of it, what, how do you divide it up between uh, fulfilling the expectations of the fans of this enormously popular franchise versus giving them something new? Well, again, uh, it's you, for the phenomenon that the book is, you're, you're still talking about a book that sold 35, 40 million copies or something. It's not, I mean, or the three books have sold that. That's, there's no flies on that. You're not going to get everybody who bought the book to go and see the movie. You're not going to, so it's not like, I don't really believe in this whole built-in thing. I think it has to like stand on its own two feet. But I, I kind of feel like could be making a big mistake. <laughs> I don't know. Just, Call my agent. Was was any thought given to to taking it out of Sweden and doing it anywhere yeah. else? Or was, yeah. No, but um, but that's not. What, and and Linton, when he explained it to me, because he's. It's not just the the Stieg Larsson. It's not just the the his particular backstory and and talking about Swedish, the you know socialism built on fascism or, you know, it's not just that, but it's also, you know, you, you kind of ask yourself, you can't make, you can't make this movie in Seattle. It's not like, you know, well, we all know those, those wealthy, those wealthy um, Vanger families from Seattle. And it's like, it is, let's put it this way. There's a thing, there's kind of a thing in Swedish noir is how you know it's thirty days a night and and four feet of snow and and you can't really do that it can't just take place in a place where it's a little rainy and your internet's out you know it's kind of like you're cut off from the world you know it, it it that's kind of part of the whole that's what it that's part of what Swedish noir is well uh, I was told. You have to get on a plane and go back to Sweden okay. this minute. Yeah, I and do. So I'm telling you, if you feel like going any longer, that's fine with me. But I don't want to talk about Sweden. It's noon. No, no, no. But uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>